Welcome back to Earth Motor Cars and Lotus of Dallas, guys. Today we have very, very exclusive access for you. We've got the only Lotus Amira in the country and on the continent standing right behind us. Come check this thing out, guys. It is literally the only one around here. I feel like Tyrese Gibson in that one Fast and Furious scene. He pulls up in the Koenigsegg and he's like, yeah, I got the only one in the Western Hemisphere. I made, I made a shake, shake in Abu Dhabi and offer he could not refuse. Every single thing on this car has been completely redesigned and completely reworked. This is not an Evora, folks. It's not a rebadged Evora with a different body. This is a completely different car engineered from the ground up. And it is leaps and bounds better than its predecessor in pretty much every way in terms of de design, function, performance, looks, and just the overall quality of the entire car. It is freaking phenomenal, guys. So as I'm sure everyone knows, this car is basically Lotus's last hurrah. It is, it is a final farewell to the ICE engine in Lotus's lineup as pretty much every car or not pretty much, literally every car that Lotus is gonna make from now on is gonna be all electric, including the Electra SUV, the Avaya hypercar, and a few other unnamed vehicles that we can't really talk about yet. Just look at the styling of this thing, guys. You've got a badass vent right here. This is the Amira First Edition. It's priced a little bit higher than the other ones, and they're only gonna make a handful of these before the production of the actual one starts. But just look at this thing glistening in the sun. It's a beautiful gray exterior. It's got a little bit of a blue flake in it. The wheels are beautifully polished, diamond cut wheels. You've got steel brakes, ginormous calipers. This thing just looks phenomenal. For the price, I don't see what other better car you can get. A Cayman is a good contender to, uh, for competition for this vehicle, but I still think this thing is miles better. Just looking at this thing, you guys would think this is a six-figure car starting at a six-figure price point, but that is not the case. Lotus has blessed, up, blessed us with beautiful numbers on this car. The, the AMG-powered inline four model starts from the mid to high 70s, and the V6 model starts from the mid to the high 80s, which is an absolute bargain for this vehicle. You're not gonna get this kind of car for that kind of money. Moving on to under the hood, this thing has a 3.5 liter V6 with a supercharger slapped on top making 400 horsepower. That may not be a ginormous number in today's crazy horsepower numbers, but this car is making do with that 400 in a fantastic way. So this motor right here started out life as a Toyota V6. It's a 2GR FE, the same engine that you're gonna find in your Camrys, your RAV4s, and even some of your Lexus models. This engine has been completely revamped, supercharger slapped on top, tuned by Lotus and completely strengthened to handle all that horsepower and to be applied to this amazing vehicle. Moving on to the inside of this car, which is where my favorite differences of this car compared to the Evora are at. The first thing you're gonna see, all the materials in the car are completely different from what Lotus has used in the past. The quality is just top notch. It competes with pretty much everything in this price range and even higher. You've got a huge touchscreen with all your daily drivable characteristics. It's got an awesome sound system. The steering wheel and everything is very driver focused to help you feel that you're really driving a race car on the road with all your creature comforts. Now this model right here has the black leather with the Alcantara and the yellow stitching and it looks absolutely immaculate. Well now it is finally time to go for a very short test drive on with this thing. Because of its exclusivity, uh, we're not gonna get that much time with it but we're gonna make do with whatever we can. So I hope you guys can enjoy the ride and we'll bring you guys along. And I want you guys to hear how this thing sounds. It is absolutely nuts. Alrighty folks, well it is finally time to drive the only Lotus Amira on the continent. First things first, I'm vertically challenged, so we're gonna have to put the seat a lot more forward than anybody else. Alrighty, let's start her up. Alright, it's in tour mode, we're gonna put it in sport, and off we go. Very short clutch pedal travel compared to other cars that you would find yourself in. The transmission feels fantastic. That shifter, I've only shifted into two gears and I already love it.
The notches feel perfect, they feel smooth. It feels phenomenal. Braking is very precise. Even a hair of movement I can feel on my foot. That noise is amazing. This car is leaps and bounds better than the Evora, in my opinion, in terms of how it feels on the road, even the noise, even though it's the same motor. That was typical with every Lotus, even the Evoras that I've driven in the past. It's always very sensitive on the throttle whenever you try to rev match these things. Typical with the Evora, I see it with this, but with a little bit of practice, it can definitely be something you could get used to. I love how thick the steering wheel feels in my hand. Just the interior overall is just such a big step forward from what the older cars were. These aren't the twistiest roads in the world, but I can feel that this thing can do so much more than what I'm able to do right now. And for under 100 grand, you're gonna break necks like this in this thing like nothing else. Great noise. The initial bite point of the clutch does take a little bit getting used to, but it's easy, guys. Power is on tap. Now that was a pretty tight corner right there. This thing feels amazing. I can only imagine what the aftermarket's gonna be like for these things, because I know since it's in a much more desirable range, price range, people are gonna be doing some pretty outrageous things to this. I'm curious to hear how it sounds when it's even louder. All right, well that concludes our test drive and our little review of the Amira. We are accepting orders for this car along with every other new Lotus that's gonna be coming out. The future of Lotus is pretty sweet. Quality is just leaps and bounds better than what they used to be, and this car is gonna be a very, very good farewell for the IC engine for Lotus. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Whenever we get more allocations for this car and whenever we have more available in our hands, we're gonna get a lot more content with these things because I know they're gonna be very, very popular in the coming years. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.